What's up, everybody? Eddie here. Just got done activating my Note 8 through Xfinity Mobile. Uh, I decided to call in versus doing it online only because I don't remember my login information. So, and I've always been paying online um, through the phone. So uh, I rarely ever go online. So it's I misplaced that somewhere. It's in the house. Anyways, the whole process, uh, being on the phone with whole time was about seven minutes. Um, you basically verify you are who you are. Then they ask you to give them the authority to activate this phone. Once you do, it takes about a minute. They get a notification on their end, verifying everything was successful. And when they do, I got a whole new number. So when they did that, once they got that notification, he was able to give me my new number. And uh, that was it. Very simple. I didn't port over. I wanted a new number. I like getting a new number. Uh, so that's what I went with. And all in all, was very smooth. Was a very smooth transaction. Um, now that I have the phone booted, I signed in. The setup process was the same as any phone. Um, you go through your Samsung, your Google account stuff. Um, there's really nothing to set up from Xfinity, uh, but there is uh, Xfinity Voicemail, Xfinity Mobile, and Xfinity My Account and Xfinity Stream TV. Those are the only pieces of bloatware. Uh, on this uh, phone, which is great. You know, some places like Sprint, T-Mobile, they'll bombard you with T-Mobile stuff. So there's not much bloatware. It's literally only four things on this phone. So that's fantastic. Anyways, I'll be doing uh, an update uh, review on the Note 8 coming soon. And I definitely will be doing a review on the service uh, within uh, two weeks to a month. And then if I decide to keep them, I'll do another update a few months later to see how, how that goes. Anyways, thanks for listening. Peace out, everybody.